Welcome to P. Clark Calc, Practical Calculus for the Busy Math Student. I'm P. Clark, and today we're going to take a look at integration using the simple exponential rule. Let's be your base e to the x type functions. So let's get started. Here's an example of integration using the simple exponential rule. Integral of e to the x dx is equal to e to the x plus c. Simple version, which is proven using antiderivatives. And here we see it used in conjunction with the power rule. Uh, we have a radical here, square root of x. So the first thing you may want to do is to do a little bit of a rewrite. Depending on how comfortable you are with the simple integration rules, you may want to break it down a little bit. Here we can use some of difference rule. Because 3e to the x dx. And then we just don't do integrals in radical form, so that's x to the 1 half dx. And then if you wish you could even use the constant multiple rule here. We could take that constant factor of 3 out of the integral if you wish. Or you can just kind of bring it along and run your simple integration rule. So since it's a simple rule we're just going to go ahead and do that. So the integral of 3 e to the x is 3 times e to the x. And then here we have the simple power rule. Just be a little careful with the rational exponents, but x to the n plus 1, so that's x to the 3 halves. And then in cases with rational exponents, we multiply by the reciprocal. So it would be 2 thirds x to the 3 halves. And then we go ahead and we attach our arbitrary constant plus c. So that's a nice example of the simple exponential rule being used in conjunction with some of the other things we learned previously. At P. Clark Calc, we do practical calculus for the busy math student, but if you want to learn more, get a little deeper into the subject, you can look it up here on our textbooks available on Amazon at a nice price. Until next time, I'm P. Clark.